Just one. Do you remember that day? The day the rain turned to snow? Hey everybody, welcome to Tokyo Swan. If you couldn't guess by the uh, starting quote, this is the Shenmue episode. I'm really excited to be doing this. I'm gonna live out one of my fantasies. Real life Shenmue, that's right. I'm going to Dobuita in Yokosuka where Shenmue took place. We're gonna live out Shenmue, all right? Shenmue, and for those that don't know, was a Dreamcast game and probably one of my top 10 video games of all time. Absolutely love it. Some people hate it, some people say it's boring, but I love it. So we're gonna go there, we're gonna live it out. We're gonna do everything that Ryo Hazuki did in the game. It's gonna be awesome. So, let's get this show on the road. So here I am in Dobuita. And yeah, it kinda does look like Shenmue. Granted, Shenmue took place in 1986, so everything's a little bit more modern, but... Oh my god. Tom. Do you remember Tom, the hot dog vendor from Shenmue? He's back. I think any Shenmue fan is going to recognize this next location. Uh, it's the hill, I think, that leads up to Ryo Hazuki's house. Uh, now it's actually a hospital. But, I don't know, judge for yourself, I think this might be the hill where Ryo goes home every day. Looks just like it. See, I pretty much feel like Ryo Hazuki right now. Like I'm in Shenmue. Now granted, some has changed since the fictitious time of Shenmue in 1986. Yeah, so that's Ryo Hazuki's house now. It's a big hospital. Pretty cool. Uh, there's lots of little bars, lots of little side streets. Um, I mean, yeah, just take a look around. Yeah, it's kind of got the same feel of the game. So, here we are at a Coke machine. And just like Shenmue, I'm gonna get a drink. One can, 120 yen. I should buy one. Uh, this is like so Shenmue, like the entire vibe of this place. Oh my gosh, like I wanted to come here for a long time. I guess like I just got so busy during the semester that I forgot about Dobuita and Yokosuka. But now that I'm here, it's just like, it's awesome. It's like, I, you know, I was playing Shenmue when I was probably like 13, 14 years old. And I was like, that game, this is awesome, and I want to go there. And now here I am, like, it's corny as it sounds, a dream come true, you know. Uh, one of those nerdy, you know, you never think, oh, I'm going to go to that place in that video game. But I went to that place. I'm here. It's, wow. Now let's see if I can find Land D. Well, that wasn't in Shenmue. No urinating? I don't remember that part of the game. One thing that I should note about Yokosuka, or this area in particular, is that there's a big American uh, base, a big Navy base or whatever, that's pretty close by. So that's why there's like a lot of uh, American-style bars and restaurants and such. Um, yeah, and there's even some sailors around too, which is kind of like Shenmue, which I was kind of, uh, kind of laughing about. Like, oh yeah, this is just the same as the game. This is... Now I'm looking for a man named Charlie. He drives a motorcycle and he has a black leather jacket. <laughs> Oh yeah, toy capsules, hmm, 200 yen each, I should buy one. Hmm. This is cool, there's really a lot to do here and there's a lot of shops and a lot of different places, so it's really cool, I'm really glad I took this trip, this pilgrimage. This pilgrimage for Shenmue. Looks like Nozomi's flower shop has expanded in recent years. Okay, so this next 
stop isn't the U Arcade, but Plaza Capcom. Retro, weird arcade I've ever been in. I love it. One game, 100 yen. I should try one. So if someone were to have asked me before I got to Japan what I thought Japan would look like and what I thought it would be like, I probably would have replied that I thought it would have been a lot like this right now. So yeah, like Yokosuka, like the whole Yokosuka area like really kind of reminds me of like what I thought Japan was going to be like. Like this is more in tone of what I was expecting kind of. Um, and that's probably partly due to how much I played Shenmue and how much I was totally dead into that game and the representation of Japan in that. Granted, it's a video game, I know, I know, blah, blah, blah. But, however, like, yeah, this is really neat just being here. Like, the whole atmosphere vibe is pretty different than Tokyo. Uh, and I quite enjoy it here. Here we go. Battle stations. Right, so behind me is like a giant battleship. So, wow. Um, no trip to Yokosuka would be complete without checking out the harbor. So here we are. Uh, it's really nice. Check it out. So I'm at the American military base here in Yokosuka because uh, my dad has a military ID and thus I have a military ID. And uh, yeah, just checking out. And unfortunately, they don't seem to have a Taco Bell, but they have a and root beer stand. So that's pretty sweet. So, oh my god, I'm so happy to be eating this. Kind of like the Twilight Zone. Everybody's English or American. You know, they all speak the same language as me. And they have Sabaros, Long John Silvers, and A and W root beer. Weird. So I joined the Bear Force One, and now I'm in the Navy. <laughs> they have a Taco Bell. Yes. You have no idea how happy I am right now. <laughs> So here I am in Chuo Park. The place is deserted, but it's actually pretty neat looking. Yeah, have a have a go around. It's kind of an interesting little uh, structure right there. Looks like some mysterious steps lead up there. So let's try uh, heading over there, see what's up there. It's absolutely beautiful. Ooh, the sea. The sea's over here. Hey, that's pretty cool. So just like the harbor in Shenmue, here we are. Welcome to paradise. So I'm not exactly sure where I am. There's like nobody around. It's so quiet. It's so peaceful. Beautiful scenery. This was like a perfect day for me. It's been so wonderful. I don't know, ah, this is like, this is so nice, like this whole place. I just love the vibe of it and just the atmosphere. It's so peaceful. So, yeah, I really hope you enjoy this episode. I had a lot of fun doing this one. Um, so, yeah, I hope everyone else kind of feels the same energy that I'm, I'm getting from just being here. It's just wonderful. So, that having been said, uh, I think I'm going to end it here and attempt to find my way back to Shin Kawasaki. We'll see. So if you don't see uh, any more Tokyo swans, it's because I got lost. Sorry. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's been fun. And I'm just all smiles right now, like a total nerd. Sorry. But hey, what can you do? Well, I know what you can do. We'll see you next time. <laughs>